Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the round of 32 clash between Niagara and Ivan Colin. Niagara's Wood Elves, Ivan Colin's Orcs. I can tell you that Niagara won his group to uh, get through to the round of 32 stage and he's Swedish, qualified through BBT, Big Crunch Playoff. Ivan Colin, Spanish, qualified through the NBB. And uh, yeah, here we are. Niagara won the toss, chose to receive. I'm guessing he's going to Dakar. We, sh we shall see. He's got a mighty blow dancer, which would probably make him want to Dakar less. Oh my god, he's just instantly down a Wood Elf lineman. Instantly lost a dodge lineman. Um, he's gone for an interesting build. The, the, so the usual build is the same, right? Most of them have taken a tree and a, and a thrower with leader. So they get the three rerolls, they get the apple. They get oh, the wrong side. They get the reels, they get the apple, they get the tree. Most of them have done this for the build. And then two wrestle, two dodge. And then strip on one dancer and something else on the other. So like tackle or frenzy or sidestep. But because he's taken mighty blow, that means he's had to give up the second wrestle. And obviously give up something something else on the dancer. So the problem with the dacker is, if you, if you plan on dackering, you know, even sometimes, it means you're not getting the mighty blow hits. Now, of course, Mighty Blow is less likely to be relevant versus Orcs anyway, so... I don't mind this, the, the tree just on the LS punching something. Um, I know Misspell Tree has done Deep Tree Dackers, which I don't really like, the Deep Tree. And Elliot used to do Dackers with the tree over to one side, I quite like that. Um, this is okay though, right? This gives you something here. Not terrible at all. The problem is it can get knocked down. Actually, a jump up tree would be pretty good for daquering, wouldn't it? A jump up tree would be good. This is <laughs> Olivier's jump up tree would be quite good for a daquer. Uh, oh, interesting. I think they've all got pros and cons, but I I I think I like the deep tree the, the least, and I thought I liked the Elliot tree the most. But I may, maybe getting the punch on the LOS, a mighty blow punch on the LOS, is pretty strong, isn't it? Oh, wow, going super, super deep here. Nyaga, completely untouchable, right? Yeah, he's completely untouchable. Wow. Okay, that's that's a wild, <gasps> mega deep tree. Not mega deep tree, mega deep dagger. I mean, I like it. You can't get touched, right? So we might as well just go fully. Fully back line. Difficult though, I mean, you can get into trouble here, right? Like, this is. He's already down a player, so this. He can get into trouble with this. Yeah, the orcs are unpainted. I really like the, the cyan and uh, white on these uh, wood elves, but yeah, unpainted orcs is a bit of a tragedy. Neither have bothered with the sideline stuff, which is sad as well. But at least, at least Niagara's got a pretty looking team. Yeah, everybody else has done the same to seen all his players. Way! <laughs> yeah, Ducky useful for the ODL <laughs> Oh dear. So we're going for the 1D Blitz. Fair enough, isn't it? It gets you through. On a 2 plus. Oh, got a rush though. Reroll gone. Gonna double dodge now. Ooh, a 3 2. And failed the extra dodge that he made. Um, so, not through very well at all, but he's through a little bit. The deck is so cool. I love that there's like a, a new thing that's different. Rerolls the dubs, dub downs. And, um, yeah, not surfing. He could have just surfed the lineman, but he wanted to try and mess with the dancer. Maybe just surfing the lineman would have been better. Who knows? Like, it's pretty strong just serving the lineman. 
Yeah, interesting. I mean, the, the, thi the, thing, the thing about the Dancer is, you don't just want to knock him over, you want to kill him, right? So that's why I don't even like Tackle that much. Tackler could have gone here. Or like here on him, right? I think he wants the tackle as a bit of a safety. So if you if you commit the tackle to that side, then he just goes the other side and you haven't got tackle there. So I, I, I like keeping it as central as possible. To be honest. But of course, yeah, applying it to the dancer is good. Surfing that guy was really good because then it would have actually cut off the dancer as well. So... There's a lot of pros and cons, isn't there? Oh my god, another reroll gone? No, just fails and is removed. Niagara's in a lot of trouble here, but I mean, he is dackering, which is obviously the best strategy known to humanity, so. Ooh, I don't like this. Don't, do not like that. I mean, he gets the 3D, but I would have really liked just a 2D on him and then jamming stuff harder. Niaga <laughs> falls, very good. Yeah, I actually I preferred the harder basing, right? Like tackle him and then get a big and right there and a big and right here and stuff. But three Ds is good. Three D is good. I just think it was better to get more pressure. Oh my god, Kaz is in. Like this is a lot worse for Niaga if the tackles here the guards here, or like the tackles here, the guards here, and the guards here, right? Like it's just, I just think trying to win more is the play against Wood Elves a lot of the time. One, two, three, four, five. And like you could also rushed in with him and stuff, right? You could have double rushed him and had everything based. I think you got to get in their faces here. It's like, it's just hard to, it's hard to screen and stuff because they're so ridiculously faster and maneuverable than you are. So I think making them make dice rolls and hope that they roll critical fails is better. Oh my god, he's rolling so many ones. I mean, he's rolling a lot of... Oh my god, he's rolling a lot of critical dice, but he was rolling a lot of ones as well. But, you know, having said that, he didn't make him roll these three two pluses, but he did roll those three two pluses, and he did fail them. Um, so he's got the same result as what I would have gone for with basing them heavily here. The thing is, he's got the knockdown deep in his heart instead of near the end zone. So I guess that was good for Niagara, that at least when he failed it was nearer, you know, further away from the Orcs. But that was maybe worth a rush there, right, to put tackle on the Dancer without re-rolls. He hasn't blitzed, has he? He's got the mighty blow. Oh my god. He's not hasn't blitzed this turn. Gotta reroll the pickup. Oh wow. Niagara is in a bit of a pickle. I mean a massive pickle in fact. A gigantic pickle. So yeah, no blitz, no blitz that turn for uh, Ivan Colin. Maybe feeling the pressure. Instant removal from the mighty blow. And Apo fails. Apo is you. No, Apo didn't. He didn't Apo it. He didn't Apo it. Okay. Well, honestly, maybe he should have apple would that, right? Because the chances of him casting, even with a tree and a mighty blow dancer, the chance of him casting something else is pretty low. And yes, it's only 37.5% that you get it, but it's a guard big and I would have re-rolled that out of Apple that I think it's it's a tough call, like you know, because you could get a KO that you apple, which is really nice, isn't it, in the second half? And you don't need him on the pitch right now anyway. I mean you're not getting him on the pitch right now, but do you know what I mean? Like I think it's It's not cut and dried. I'm not saying it's definitely correct to have Apple, but I just think I would have. Okay, I don't like this ordering because now he... Oh, no, no, it's fine. Errata. Errata. He just fills in the front of this guy. He doesn't get anything out in front of the thing. Okay, so he should have filled in the front. And he could have moved these guys afterwards and, like, pushed them forward and stuff. 
Oh, he's got the guard, he's got the guard in the front anyway, didn't he? The, didn't need a field in. But it would have made it a harder leap in. So, like, he, he did leave a 3 plus leap in, right? Which he could have made it like a 4 or 5 leap in. So, it would have been a little bit better. Well. The problem is he hasn't appoed his bigger. So, love the uh, mighty blow blitz here. He didn't apple the big one, so now he's only got 11 players. So now it's uh, really risky to foul the thrower, the thrower, the dancer just for damage. Fouling him just for damage seems a bit rubbish. There we go. I should have put him in the right square. So yeah, Niagara was pickled. Complete wasn't just in a bit of a pickle, he was completely pickled. And he's going in the second half, 1-0 down after his offence, a failed Dhaka. Thus proving the, dra the Dhaka is a terrible strat that uh, nobody should ever use. <laughs> Really good damage on the elves as well for the second half. <laughs> Doesn't look that good actually. It seemed really good, but I guess it wasn't. I the the, the officious ref was incredible, though, wasn't it? So eight players looking very strong. Ivan Cohen. I know it's just, yeah, that's the thing. You know, you've got to say every time a DACA fails, you've got to say it's conclusive proof that the DAC is terrible. That's the meme. There was a lot of there was a lot of ones. He, he he started off with this guy getting removed, right? So that took away one of his dodges. Um, so he's having to burn a lot of rerolls. He did roll a lot of ones. Yeah, he rolled a lot of dice, but he did roll a lot of ones as well. So Ivan corn has got the ball on sure hands. Doesn't even have to score, so he can make a gigantic. Guard laden cage. Not going to get to stab things because he'll be mighty blowing them. Yep, full meat cube. Absolute dominance. Having said that, it's not the strongest cage ever. Like, it's probably good enough, but I would have wanted stronger on turn one, you know? I would have wanted a stronger cage on turn one. Because it could have been stronger. And like, you don't need to go forward. You don't need to do anything. You want a lot. So, just let Niagara roll the dice, you know, and like, you'll just naturally get penetration just by. Priori you can prioritize ball protection and still get penetration because he's only got eight L's. Yeah, line on the tree, yeah, 100% line on the tree, yeah. But the, the, he did the big in to get the hits, didn't he? Like, he had the guard in to get the hits. And die. <laughs> and actually, he did get to, he did get to apple, didn't he? There, he got to apple the KO, which is pretty nice. But lost two players on turn one, and now he's, he's down two big ones, which is pretty brutal. But yeah, it should have it should have absolutely been alignment on the tree, yeah, and then just bring in the players for the assists. Like the tree getting into your cage is one of the ways you can lose, so you do have to keep feeding it as well, which isn't great. This, this does invite the pressure a bit, but... Oh, he's going to chain the tree into the blitzer. Pretty nice. No, it's not. Oh, I like, I, like, I like doing that. I really like doing that. Okay, we cast this guy. I mean, casting the big one's better. 
<laughs> but I, I really like, you know, you could just put a player in here and then you could have blitzed this guy and then chained the tree forward. Then the tree could have punched this guy on three dice and then you've got the tree basing the bigger, right? Which is really good. So I really liked, really liked... Uh, in fact, you don't even need to put him there. You could put him there and then blitz and then chain the tree. Really like getting the tree onto the... Onto this, you know, onto this, but kill this guy, you know, because the tree could have killed this guy and you know that blitz. I mean, you got an you've got amazing removals here, by the way. Apple on a KO'd lineman, and then two cards. So like he's made three removals in two turns, which is outrageous. Oh well, he wouldn't have got in. He wouldn't have got in contact. <laughs> he would have just won and nine. So tempting to move up this side now with the down tree. To let you get the lineman off him, but he's not doing it. He's coming up here, a little bit dodgy near the side. It's it's good in one way that like you know that you can surf the dancer if the if the strip fails and stuff. So like it is generally quite good to go near the sideline versus dancers. But the problem is you know if they do things and get in the way and surf you. It's, Feels bad, doesn't it? But generally good to, to go near the sideline. Oh, don't rush though. <laughs> like, did he have to rush there? I guess he's afraid of getting his mighty blow banged out. <laughs> but again, he could have solved that with like, you know, different turn ordering and stuff. Really want to be conserving the rewards. Not cast. Happiest day of his life. Not mighty blowing. But gets the knockdown. Would have broken AV with mighty blow. Just, just, just quietly. Just quietly AV. Uh, AV mighty blow better than tackle most of the time. Because like knocking somebody over doesn't do a lot. That's the problem, isn't it? Or is removing them does do a lot. Now, with Amazons being in the mix, it makes tackle better, but without zones. We're we gonna base the ball here. Mm -hmm. So now it gets. Uncomfortable for Ivan Colin. And that's the obvious solution. Like it doesn't get difficult for him, it just gets uncomfortable, doesn't it? Because now Niagara's gonna start throwing everything at the cage every turn. And You've got to have good dice and good play, because if you make a mistake, or he rolls well, or you roll badly, all of a sudden, you could, you could count score on you. I think bunkering up like this is the best option. Only a two dice, and dub skulls, and that is maybe all she wrote. Stun is massive because now you can actually cage near the tree man, right? The problem is if you cage near the tree man and he uh, he stops, he, like he stops you moving. So maybe you shouldn't cage near the tree man. Yeah, the problem is, what if he stops you moving, right? He just he's going to base everything next turn. It's the pal. No break. So he has to base him now. Not only because it's turn 14, but also with the uh, tree. Yeah, exactly. That's the, I mean, there's only a couple of turns left, isn't there? But 
It's another player that can stick on you next turn, yeah. Yeah, he probably shouldn't have gone near the tree. He's got three players on the tree now. Well, not now, but next turn when it stands up. And, you know, they're the critical turns, right? Turn 15 and 16 is when the elves go for the ball and try and snaffle it away. And, you know, he's coming really hard here. And it's not really enough for you to just clear them because you have to move away from the tree. Whereas if you just caged not near the tree, you could have just beaten them off. I mean, he is probably just going to try and beat them off anyway, but still. Not great. Three Ds, pretty good. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Ooh, wouldn't have done that. Big power there. Okay, so this is actually really good. But the problem is the tree. The problem is the tree. And the problem is next turn. And he should not have cage next to the tree. <gasps> oh, he's committed Sudoku. He's gone straight at the twat magnet has activated. And he's actually got a quite quite a 1D here. He's got an easy 1D leap in. And it, okay, it's not with strip. But it's still a leap 1D. Which is quite easy. Gets it, gets the full pow, lovely push direction. For so long he made lovely shapes, didn't he, with the, the Venga buses and the guards. And then, there we go, he left on the leap in and good night. Sweet Prince. Wow. God, elves are disgusting, aren't they? Wood elves. Dark elves are noble. A noble fair team that only, only upstanding gentlemen would play. But God, wood elves are disgusting. <laughs> what an overpowered team. <laughs> Makes the dodge, and he's got tackle, so this is one of the times where a tackle is better than mighty blow, because you really do just need the knockdown here, and he doesn't roll the knockdown. Exactly, yep, nose dive. That was the joke. Well done. <laughs> and he gets the dodge away. And gets the draw. So there you go. Niagara somehow... Well, not. it's pretty obvious the how. <laughs> the how is he just <laughs> annihilated the orcs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god 12 gym games worth of casualties in that one there um, no not 12, 15 I've played 5 games and made 1 Kaz and he's made 1 game and caused 3 so yep that pretty much rescued it after that appalling first half that he had so uh, yeah there you go Yeah, and it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't really lapse in judgement right at the end of the day it, it was tough like it was tough, he, you know, he bombarded the cage and it, this is the thing, you know, like, this is the thing people like Olivia Dillac and Arian Chunter, you know, they, they ask you these questions and unless you answer them perfectly or, you know, and roll really well, you know, you've got to roll the dice as well, right, sometimes you'll just do the right play and then you'll quad skull or what, like 1 in 81 or, or, you know, think that you've got to dodge to get a better spot because it's so hard and stuff and, so if you, if you don't if you don't think it all through correctly and do it execute it perfectly then there you go they've got a chance they're in and you're done so you know well played by Niagara forcing that and uh, there you go so this goes to game two thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.